Hello, welcome back to another Work Visual tutorial video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Work Visual 6.0 project management. A Work Visual project contains configuration and programs for one or more robot controller, typically just one. Configuration within the project can include I.O., robot data, external access setup, tools and bases, geometric relationships between machines, safety, and tech package specific configuration. When Work Visual starts, the Project Explorer opens. On the left side of the window, there are four options, Recent, Create, Open, and Browse. Recent is your recently opened project files. Create creates a project from a template, which is rarely needed. Open opens a project file on your computer, and Browse allows you to upload a project from a robot controller. So let's get the project from the controller. To do so, select the Browse option on the Project Explorer window. The robot controller can have multiple projects on its hard drive. When you browse for the controller, you will see all its projects. The active project is the one with the green triangle. Just click on the project you want and click Open. Additionally, it is good practice to save multiple versions of your project in case you make any mistakes. Let's save the original project and make a secondary version that we can make changes to. When a project is first open, many editors are not available and the bus structure appears empty. This is because the controller object is not active. A single project can contain more than one robot controller but it is only possible to view one controller setting at a time. So only one controller can be activated at a time. To activate a controller, either double click on it or right click and set controller as active. When the project is active, many editors are now available and the bus structure is full. Let's verify that we are in the commissioning and configuration workspace so that we can make offline KRL edits. Let's drill into the desired project we want to make changes to. We will use the global KUKA function MSG Notify to display the notification message Hello World. After the modifications are made, we will have to save the project. After we have saved the modifications, we'll want to transfer or deploy the project to the controller. Deploying the project causes Work Visual to generate the configuration files that the controller needs and then downloads this information to the robot controller. Click the deploy button on the toolbar or press F6. Then select finish. You may be prompted to resolve the name of the cell object in the project. This happens when the cell name of the robot controller is different from the cell name of the project. Deploy is complete when all configuration files are generated and the project has been successfully downloaded to the robot controller. If the proper user level is logged on and prompts are confirmed on the smart pad, activation completes and work visual shows activated. Activation of the project from work visual requires intervention at the smart pad. You must be logged in as the appropriate user level, either expert or safety maintenance, and must acknowledge confirmation prompts. If an inappropriate user level is logged in, an error is shown in Work Visual when you try to deploy. You can click on the robot button next to the progress bar to retry. This is a time saver. When making modifications to a Work Visual project, it is best suggested that you first browse for the controller and upload the project, then make modifications to the Work Visual project and lastly deploy the project to the robot controller. This preserves changes that were made on the controller between project modifications. For example, if your project is deployed, points are touched up, project is modified offline, project is deployed, point modifications are lost. Because the project was never uploaded to your laptop with the touched up points, 
the points will be erased when the project is modified offline and deployed. This is the correct way. Project is deployed, points are touched up, project is uploaded and modified, project is deployed, point modifications are preserved. Some KUKA option packages, KOPs, add functionality to Work Visual. If your controller has any of these options, they must be installed in Work Visual before deploying the project. Work Visual will give you an error in the message window if this is the case. Refer to the KUKA option packages tutorial video about KOPs for more details. Projects have the file format WVS, Work Visual Solution. A project can be saved with one of the following functions, save or save as. The controller keeps all uniquely named project. It also automatically keeps the last five project activations even if they are the same name. This allows you to go back to previous versions of your project if needed. You can simply open the project management on the pendant and select the restoration tab. Select the work visual icon on the smart pad and click open. Choose the restoration point you want and tap the restore button. Activate the project by clicking yes and acknowledge the changes by selecting yes. Thank you. See you in the next one.